Hello all, thank you for joining us at the Class of 2020 Senior Celebration event. As you all know, today would have been the date of commencement, and although we are unfortunately unable to be together today, let us take the time to celebrate our graduating seniors and all their amazing accomplishments. Many of us here tonight are faculty, staff, administrators, friends, and family. I want to take a moment to thank you all for your contributions and support to the Class of 2020. Your role in their lives has been greatly appreciated and we thank you. To the class of 2020, congratulations, you made it. I am so incredibly proud of you all, not only for your outstanding accomplishments, but for who you are as individuals. You are a true exemplification of outstanding citizens and you have impacted each and every one of us in ways that you couldn't even imagine. I know that you all will be successful in your future endeavors and I have the utmost faith in your ability to achieve your goals. I absolutely cannot wait to see where life takes you and how you would change the shape of your futures. Congratulations, class of 2020, and let the senior celebration event begin. Congratulations, class of 2020. You're the second class of four-year grads and the third class of transfer students that I've seen all the way to graduation. Each graduating class is, of course, special, but I can honestly say that your class is well and truly special. No other class before you can say that they spent the fall semester worrying about the months and then their final semester sheltering in place because of a pandemic and then finishing their courses all online. Hopefully, no other class that follows will be able to say that either. You are heading out into a world of uncertainty. The normal we all knew when you started school is not the normal that we'll know in the future. But what makes you special is not what fate handed you. It's what you handed fate. How you handled the cards you were dealt. When you were handed confusion, you responded with flexibility and patience. Uh, at least most of the time, I have a few emails that suggested that sometimes you were stressed. When you were handed uncertainty, you responded with creativity and a sense of humor, as well as with gratitude, which you have shown to us in your emails and comments throughout this process. And for that, I thank you. These traits of yours, creativity, flexibility, patience, a sense of humor, and gratitude will protect you in the new normal to come. So don't be afraid. You do have what it takes to succeed, and I know you will. Be patient, be grateful for your unique blessings, and laugh. Never forget to laugh. Congratulations to all of you for all of your hard work, for all of your skill, and for all of your personalities. Go out there and take the world by storm. Enjoy. Hi there, class of 2020. We're more than six feet apart, so I probably don't need this right now. We may be apart, 
but only physically. All of us in faculty, we have you right here, where it counts most. And that's never far away. You like the tux? I realized it might be a bit over the top, but I thought it was fitting. Actually, I'm surprised that it fits, given my uh, COVID uh, eating habits. But after all, this is a very special occasion. Before you start this new beginning, I want you to know you've been a joy to teach, a pleasure to get to know, and a thrill to watch you grow. I get that now the future looks uncertain, but I'm so proud of your courage and perseverance despite, despite the unprecedented challenges you're facing. Wherever you go in life, whatever you do, remember this, you are enough. As you are, who you are. You have everything you need to succeed, and you will succeed. Let this realization carry you through. Let it motivate you, energize you, and fill you with hope. Congrats. Hi everyone, it's Dr. D. I'm so excited to wish you well. As you think about your um, upcoming graduation, I want you to reflect on your time at Moravian. And I want you to especially reflect on this time in your spring senior year. And think about all of the opportunities that we've been prompted to really learn, to learn new ways of doing things, to learn new ways of communicating, and even just new ways of being. Even more than that, I want you to think about the opportunities that we've been presented with to grow, okay? And as you go out into your professional journey and you start to offer the pages really meaningfully, I want you to think about the opportunities to fall up because we will always fall in life again and again. And when we do, I want you to choose to fall up. I want you to choose to learn, choose to grow, choose to learn as you grow and really embrace every opportunity to move yourself out of your comfort zone in really meaningful ways. And if you have the opportunity, do that for those around you too. It's been such a delight to work with you. And I look forward to bringing you back to campus so that you could then work with students in really meaningful ways in the years to come. My very best wishes are extended to you. Celebrate this time. Hey class of 2020, this is Dr. Bertucci. You're graduating, it's crazy. So the first thing you should do is celebrate. Have a lot of fun. This has been stressful, but uh, I think it's also proved that you're adaptable, you can adjust. And my advice to you is to keep that experience in the back of your mind as you head out into the real world. Things don't always work out as you planned them, but if you stay true to course and consult the people who have your back, like the faculty at Moravian, I trust that you guys will do great things. Best of luck and come back and visit. Congratulations, class of 2020. Well done, very proud of you. A uh, quick shout out to my first year writing seminar, my group from four years ago. It's been great watching you grow, develop. My advisees, as I fill out your graduation forms, very bittersweet. Uh, my sports psych class, a lot of seniors in there. We had such a great thing going in the class. I, I miss you guys dearly. Um, Hey, listen, two pieces of advice, okay? Critical thinking. We've, we really nurtured it in you and we need it now more than ever. Stay keen, stay steadfast with critical thinking about the information you're faced with and, and uh, in your leadership roles. And then secondly, um, you know, a lot of ugliness in the world, but use that critical thinking, uh, look deeper, peel away, peel away that ugliness and you'll find a lot of beautiful stuff in there. Be good, be safe, stay well. 2020. Congratulations on your graduation. Even though we're at home, the staff at Moravian is thinking about you all the time and you guys have been amazing with this transition. The best advice I can give you upon graduation is to make sure to stay connected with Moravian even when you're an alum. As a graduate of 2013, I always knew where Moravian was a place that I could come back home to and that they were always there to support me. So I hope you'll stay connected with us. You guys are awesome. Good luck. Congratulations, class of 2020. I can't imagine that this is the way any of us anticipated your final semester here at Moravian College, but I want to give you all credit for the immense creativity and dedication and passion and um, curiosity and 
hard work that you have demonstrated this semester and throughout your time here at Moravian College. It has been such a pleasure getting to work um, with so many of you, and I look forward to all that you're going to accomplish in the many years ahead. Please keep in touch. To the class of 2020, I want to congratulate you on all that you've done over the past four years and wish you all the best as you jump into this new adventure of your life. Moravian College will certainly miss you and it won't ever be the same as when you guys were here, um, but we know that you're ready for this next and new adventure. Stay in touch and keep us in heart. Once a hound, always a hound. Congratulations to the Moravian College class of 2020. This is Chris Jones. I'm a professor in the Department of Biological Sciences here. And I just want to say a few things because you guys remind me of me. You appreciate the value of hard work. You work hard. You have worked hard for four years and it shows. You're passionate about what you do, right? You have to be passionate. It's said again and again. It's a, it's a truism that you're probably tired of hearing, but it is true. You really need to love what you do to be happy in life. And I do and I am mostly. You're smarter than you think. That's one thing about Moravian students that I found after 20 years here. You guys undersell yourselves a lot. You are better than you think you are. So don't be afraid to go out there and show people what you know and what you can do. And finally, you guys are looking really good. Take care. Send us word from the real world, whatever it's like out there. All right, night. Hello seniors, I just want to congratulate you on being the class of 2020. I know this has been a year of trials and tribulations between the months and then the pandemic. Um, special shout out to all my nursing students. You are going to be amazing nurses. You have persevered through such adversity this past year and very proud of you all and congrats to the senior class of 2020. I'd like to send this message to the class of 2020, wishing them well in their future endeavors. I know that you're gonna be successful in whatever your next steps are. You're an amazing class. I've been impressed by all of the students that I've had, had pl the pleasure of teaching from this class. Like Moravian College, I know that all of you will be revolutionary in your own way. I can't wait to hear about your future endeavors. I'm proud of you and wish you the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is Christina Haddad from the Political Science Department. The world right now really needs you. It needs your learning, your action, and your love. Go be political, practice social solidarity. I'm tremendously proud of you. Don't be a stranger. Congratulations. Hey class of 2020, John Mikovits here from the nursing department. Just wanted to say congratulations to each and every one of you for your extraordinary accomplishments while here at Moravian College. We couldn't be more proud of you and all that you've done. We hope you continue to take this education and change the world for the better. From one alum to another, pound them. Congratulations, y'all. I am so proud and impressed with your resilience as you finish up your college career amidst this pandemic. Know that um, we can't wait to celebrate you in person soon enough. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, take care of your family, and I hope you get some, some time to celebrate with your loved ones. Hi seniors, this is Lisa Colin Checo with the School of Nursing. Um, first, I just want to congratulate you on a job well done, uh, completing your degree is no easy feat and you all have done it so um, congratulations to you uh, also just a small pearl and that's really has to do with you know our fears we all have fears fears that we didn't do a good enough job we won't do enough good enough job and um, instead of like hiding from those fears or pretending they don't exist I, I I challenge you to embrace your fears. Um, embrace them, because in embracing our fears but continuing to move forward, that is really how we grow as individuals, um, not only in our profession, but in our personal life. So, um, you know, find your why in life, your purpose, and just, you know, move forward through those fears uh, to allow yourself uh, to really achieve the greatness that lives inside each one of you. Congratulations and good luck for a um, healthy future. Hey class of 2020, I just want to congratulate you on your graduation. I'm sorry it's not going the way we all had imagined, 
but uh, you still achieved greatness and we're really proud of you. I want to give a special shout out to the students who were in my FYWS section four years ago. Four years ago, I learned so much from all of you and I think you're all amazing and I'm gonna miss you. Great, good luck as you move forward and please remember to keep in touch. All the best. Hey Hounds, congratulations from the center. We miss seeing you on campus. But we're always here for you. We're just a call or email away. We know you're gonna do great things in this world. And we can't wait to see where your journeys take you. We hope to see you soon. Congratulations to the Moravian College graduating class of 2020. Though this isn't exactly the send off we had hoped to give you, it certainly doesn't diminish how proud and how happy we are for each and every one of you. So if I could impart a few words of wisdom, pursue whatever it is that captures your heart. Accept the challenges that life has to offer and just savor the journey. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Hey, Moravian College class of 2020. Well, you made it. This isn't the way we thought your college career was going to end. And I'm so sorry. So much has been taken away from you. So many things that were so important. Spring season of athletic programs, the senior soiree, graduation, all those things that we look so much forward to at the end of an academic year. But I so appreciate all of you. I appreciate your resilience, your compassion with each other and with faculty and staff, your understanding and your determination to see it through. I know we have just made a great class that will go out and be the doctors, nurses, researchers, business people, that will find an end to this disease, that will find a way to get the economy back moving, that will educate the next generation, and that will be the frontline workers for healthcare as we continue to combat pandemics and epidemic diseases and human frailty. You are going to be the solution. I remember back four years ago, in one of my favorite days, is standing on the steps of Comenius Hall and welcoming each and every one of you home as you cross from Colonial Hall, cross Main Street, and are welcomed as the class of 2020. Four years ago, we couldn't imagine this was how this was gonna end. But we were able to overcome it. We were able to hound them. You were able to hound them. And now you're ready. You're ready to go out you're ready to join all the other greyhounds that are out there making this world a better place. So I know this class is going to do great things. I know this class is going to be incredibly powerful. I know each one of you is going to make your mark in our society. So we can't hold graduation when we typically would, but I look forward to my future favorite day, which will be October 24th. This homecoming will be like no other homecoming we've ever had before. You will lead the parade. You will have a great graduation and we will recognize you for all that you have done for this college and for all that you are gonna do for our society. With that, I so thank you for everything you contributed to Moravian College and congratulations, class of 2020. Hound them. Hi, my name is Anissa Amatol McTadir, and I'm a senior psychology major here at Moravian. And I wanted to talk about what my favorite memory here at Moravian is. And since I don't know how to follow instructions, I picked two. So first, one of my favorite memories is it was a snow day last year and my friends Lauren, Gabby, Caitlin, Bree, and I all went sledding down the turf hill and then afterwards we just hung out in their dorm and drank hot cocoa, did homework, and just relaxed. And it was just such a chill memory, but I felt like it just encompassed community and friends and something that I personally love about being a Greyhound. And then my second favorite memory is actually going to Texas. Now, while it wasn't at Moravian College, I feel like you bring a piece of home wherever you go. 
So it was just such a wonderful experience to have with my fellow Greyhounds. One of my favorite memories at Moravian was going to Hawaii to present research at a special education conference with Haley Flank, Eileen Rollwood, and Dr. Khan. Another favorite memory was singing in the Vespers ceremony with the choir. Found them. My favorite memory from Moravian College would have to be the art department field trips. I always enjoyed going on the main field trip to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, and I thought that that was just a really fun day to hang out with friends, spend a day in the city, and just look at art. Those trips provided me with really good memories, and I feel like I've made some really good friends going on each of those trips. I've made so many amazing memories here at Moravian College over these last four years. However, some of my favorite memories actually didn't take place on campus. They took place during the two study abroad trips that I took to Europe with one of my favorite professors, Dr. Lalonde. Dr. Lalonde actually taught my mom in 84 to 88 and was one of her favorite professors as well. So thank you to Moravian College for not only allowing me to see some of the world's most historical sites, but also giving me a lot of lifelong friends. Hi, I'm Emma Blades, and my favorite memory of Moravian is being able to hang out on the hammocks with my friends during the fall and spring seasons. I just love how active and lively the campus is and how the nice weather just brings everyone out of their dorms and everyone's just out and about and it's just a fun environment and just thinking about it makes me happy. This is one thing that I will miss on campus at Moravian and honestly one thing I'm missing right now about it. My most favorite campus event was probably every spring fest, but mostly our freshman year spring fest, because um, it was the first one I got to experience, and it will always have a special place in my heart, that event. And um, we also had a zip line there, which was a huge hit, and President Grigsby even rode the zip line, so it was just a lot of fun, a lot of good food, good people. So one of my funniest memories at Moravian College has definitely been running Kula Hall's Haunted House. Um, we've I've run it for the past two years as an RA of Kula, and one of the funniest parts of it is when we're all setting up, and especially this year when we're going through all the decorations with my residents, we have like a bag of like 30 squeaky rats, and I just two of our my residents, Jesse and Bill, were just stepping and squeezing on the rats. So it was just super hysterical and really weird. Um, That's probably one of the funniest memories I've had at Moravian. There's so much that I've gone through and been able to share so many times with these students. But definitely uh, spending time with these residents has been some of the best memories uh, and the funniest memories. And I couldn't be more thankful for all of them. going to be talking about my favorite memory at Moravian and if I had to pick one I think it's just the ongoing process of watching people like myself and my close friends grow as students as individuals as leaders and people in our professional career like graphic designers the artists that I work with uh, my friends who are nurses and people who are studying to be educators and I think just our journey from freshman year to now is just incredible and I am so excited to see where it will take us in the future.
Hi, my name's Riley Pauls, and when I look back on the four years at Moravian and I'm asked the question, who inspired me the most, I would have to say the friendships that I've made and the people I chose to surround myself with. Because Moravian was so small, it was very easy to create those bonds and to carry those bonds with me throughout the four years I was there. And it's those people that truly helped me push myself to do better academically, but to also be a better person each day I woke up in the morning. My friends and I always held each other accountable to strive to do the best that we could each day and to do bigger and better things every single morning when we woke up. And it's those people that made all the hard work and all the good days and the bad days and the smiles and the tears and everything in between, they made it worth it. I think being a Greyhound is something special. Um, it's being a family. I mean, it's a really small college community and you kind of like go through your four college years getting to know upperclassmen, lowerclassmen, getting to know your class a little bit better. Some of us join sports, some of us join sororities and fraternities. And it's kind of like a place where you can feel safe. I mean, at the end of the day, we all come together as a community, which is super important. And I'm really glad I got to spend these last four years with my senior class. Hi everyone, my name's Caitlin. Uh, I just wanted to talk about what it means to be a Greyhound for myself. So I've, I think it really means is being passionate about our home and where we're from as a Moravian student. Uh, I love talking about Moravian College. It's one of my favorite things. I'm a 26 point ambassador, so I give tours to our prospective students. And it is one of my most favorite things is to tell these incoming families about how much I love Moravian and I can just feel my, like a smile forming on my face because it is just the greatest feeling ever. And um, Moravian is definitely my home and I would have chose it again if I had the opportunity. So, found them. So to me, being a Greyhound means having an arsenal of support that helped you get where you are today. Whether it be academics, campus life, getting involved, becoming a campus leader, to finding your family and those friends that are going to last you your entire life. And doing this all in an environment that is loving and helpful and positive and one that you never want to leave. But in the end, we have something that has been so great, which makes it so hard to say goodbye. But it never is goodbye because we're always greyhounds and we always will be greyhounds. And that is something to be grateful for and something to hold on to and to hold dearly um, because this will last forever in our hearts. Um, and I think we can all share that and cherish that. Love you, Moravian. Hey gang, I know your time on campus was cut way too short this spring, but that will make our celebration of the class of 2020 even sweeter in October. I have so much I'd like to say to all of you, but I'll save those comments for Saturday, October 24th. I am so very, very honored to have been chosen as your faculty commencement speaker. Thank you for that privilege. You've each made many contributions to our campus community making it a better place. And I know you'll do the same as you enter graduate school, new jobs, and new communities. You are ready for this next stage of life. 
So go get it. And remember to tell the world out there that Moravian College sent you. So gang, I'll see you in a few short months. And in the meantime, I'll keep looking at this picture of the 2019-2020 Res Life staff to remind me that we will, at some point, be able to gather in large groups again. Hound them.